So Shelly, my final question for you is, we know that finding a job is a full-time job. There's sometimes a lot of rejection, a lot of time, and then it's like sometimes it affects on the mental health of the job seeker. So in your experience for more than 20 years, what tips do you have in terms of resilience during the job search? Yeah, that's a really good question because it is pretty tough, mm -hmm. um, especially currently in the job market. And many people are discovering that it's a very different job market than just a few years ago. Yeah. So the way that I always talk to people about it is first, you need to prepare for rejection. Yes. It is going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. I know very few job seekers that go through their job hunt and have no rejection. <laughs> Uh, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. So before you start, you need to prepare yourself that I will get rejected. Mm -hmm. I will get rejected from jobs that I really want. Yeah. And that is a bummer. Yeah. But when you go in expecting that that will happen, you will not be as surprised mm -hmm. when it happens. And then you will understand, okay, that's just part of the process yeah. and go on. Another thing I think for resilience is to have a group of people in your life yeah. that you can talk to about your struggles with your job search that you feel you can be honest and open with. Yeah. Sometimes that's your family, sometimes not. Yeah. Sometimes it will have to be friends mm -hmm. or even people that you would have former colleagues, other people in your life. You want to be able to freely vent to them your yeah. frustrations, because if you have a safe place to do that, you can get that out of your system yeah. so it doesn't fester in you. Yeah. I think that's really important because if you start getting really negative about your situation, that comes across. Yes. You may not be aware of it, but it does. Yeah. And people who are in the hiring uh, you know, process, they'll pick up on that yeah. and that won't work to your yeah. favor. So those would be two things I would suggest job seekers do to help them with that resilience. Yeah. I tell the clients I'm helping have a schedule, you know, Monday morning, maybe you're applying for a job in the afternoon, maybe you're commenting on LinkedIn, Tuesday morning, go for a coffee and then in the afternoon, read an article and do a post. Maybe Wednesday, take the day off because you're tired and you need, you need, to, re, you need to be recharged. Maybe Thursday you do something else, read a book, go outside. So having variety of things is important. And of course, the part which is also important, you know, networking and having those uh, uh, conversations with people, as you mentioned, is key in finding jobs. Yeah, I think you mentioned a great point, which is have some downtime. Yeah. Make sure that you're having some fun things in your yeah. life yeah. Uh, and schedule those because it has to be a balance. We can't be doing just one thing all the time. That can right. really bring you down. Yeah. So whatever it is that you enjoy, you have hobbies, friends, whatever it might be, make sure that you are actively engaging in that. It will brighten up your day even when you have a tough one. Those are great tips, Shelly. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. So for the audience, if you haven't watched the previous video, you can watch them and comment. And if you have other questions, you can reach to us. We are here to help you. Again, Shelly, thank you very much. And for the audience, see you next time with another gate. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.